Okay, it is December 16th, 2010, and this is another edition of Lion News. Lion News is at lionnews00.blogspot.com. Okay, what are we going to talk about today? Today we're going to talk about cops producing their identification. Okay, In Minnesota, what they want to do is they want to play tricks on you. All right? What they want to do is come up to you and uh, ask you all sorts of questions, but they don't want to answer any of your questions, like, who are they? Okay, the first question I want answered when a cop comes up to me is, who are you? All right? Now, what they're going to say is, well, my name is Officer Joe, or whatever, or my name's on my name tag, or here's my, here's my badge right here, look on it and see. Uh, no. When I ask a cop what his name is, I want to see his identification. So they say, I'm Officer Joe. No, I want to see your identification. No, what? then he's going to say, no, I don't have to. I don't have to show you because my name is right out here on my name tag. Or it's not, here's my badge number right here. No, I want to see your identification. Just like when they want to come up, they walk up to you. They say, I want to see your identification. All right. Well. Here's the problem. A bunch of cops don't want to produce their identification. Here, we got a cop right here in Alexandria, Minnesota that did produce her identification. All right. That was on June 9th, 2010. Now, the detail was her captain, who was standing right next to her, refused to produce his identification. See? So you can have one that will produce their identification, the other, one, other one won't. All right. But the important thing is, is to stick to your guns, all right? The whole idea is if you keep on demanding their identification, it's going to throw them off, all right? Because what you need to do is establish their identity, all right? And the only way you're going to establish their identity is by seeing their identification card because their name, here's her name, Darcy Zerbs, has to match her name tag, and her badge number has to match her badge, all right? See? So, and then her picture has to match her face. See, that's the detail. Until they produce that identification, there is a doubt in my mind that they're actually a cop. All right? So, if they don't want to produce their identification, it tells me right away that I'm dealing with a thug. So, there's no reason for me to talk to them to start with, because I don't want to talk to a thug, and I don't want to be, you know, having some tr case trumped up you know, against me by a thug either, all right? So they better follow their rules, because if they demand my ID, then I demand to see their ID. It's real simple, real simple, all right? I don't take any, I don't take any crap from these people, neither should you, all right? You just got to stick to your guns. And uh, helps to have a uh, camera along and a witness, because they have no problem stealing your camera and then, you know, kicking the crap out of you. And then, you know, it's just your word against theirs. So try not to get in those kind of situations. You know, try to try to go with a, a partner, you know, with a, with a camera. Both of you having cameras and both cameras running at all times. Because uh, they aren't going to do you any favors. They're not going to play by, you know, they have their own set of rules. It's a rigged game that they're playing. I don't play by their rules. They will play by my set of rules. That's the detail. That's why I always win. It's because they are forced to play my game. I refuse to play their game. See? And I know what their rules are. So I use their rules against them all the time. I have no problem with that at all. See, and also in this situation here, a little bit later on, we ran into another three of their cohorts here trying to train the same thing on us. All right? So we demanded to see a judge. Now, the reason for demanding to see a judge is, one, the courts are open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All right? So you have, if there's a problem, you demand to see a judge. You demand to see a judge before they arrest you. That's the key. All right? Because now there's a question of the law, you demand the judge to answer that question. All right? Because they're, they're disturbing the peace and harmony of the day. This cop is, and you want that solved. And that the only person that can do that is the judge. All right? Also, what you want to do is when a cop comes up to you, they're trying to create a reasonable suspicion 
why they should detain you, and then finally arrest you. All right, that's why they start asking you questions. They come up and they want to create a rapport with you. All right, or they try to intimidate you into into uh, a answering their questions. Sorry, I'm not answering any cop's questions. Nope, no way. They better be answering my questions. Like why? What are you? Why are you coming up to talk to me? I want to know why you are here. Produce your identification. Okay. And if they don't do that, I got nothing to say to them. Remember. You keep on asking them questions. And if they aren't answering your questions, you've got a thug cop on your trail there. Right? And they'll want to say, oh no, I'm asking the questions. No, sorry, I'm asking the questions. And you better be answering my questions. See? Because if you got something, if you got some charges against me, then I demand to see a judge because I'm not wasting my time talking to you. Right? Because you have to remember, the average IQ of a cop is 104 which is two points above average intelligence. Average intelligence is 102. So why are you talking to a C student, essentially? All right? They're right 70% of the time. But see, what happens is, you know, they get it wrong that 30% of the time. All right? How do they correct that? Well, it's simple. They have the county attorney or city attorney or another officer helping them fix all their little mistakes. Because once you get the police report, Boy, it's totally different from what you uh, what you experienced. They'll er, they're only going to tell their side of the story, right? Anything that's embarrassing to their side of the story or proves you right, you aren't going to see it in their police report. See, because they have to look perfect, and that's another advantage. Because these idiots always want to look perfect, and it's not hard to go through their material and prove that they're a bunch of liars. All right. Also. This thing is, is 8 and a half by 14, so you can take it along with you. If you have problems, like say when John went to uh, Candyway County, he was trying to get into the Candyway County Courthouse, and a thug there at the, at the door refused to allow him to go in. Now this is at noon, and according to Minnesota law, you're allowed to go into the courthouse, or courtroom, and film. See? That's the reality of the situation. It's in the court rules. But see, what they want to do is stick some uh, some low-intelligent thug out there, you know, usually with a gun, trying to tell you that, nope, you can't do that. Well, you're not going to argue with some thug with a gun, badge and a gun, a low-intelligent retard with a badge and a gun, all right? See, all you can do is document what they're doing and then embarrass the heck out of them later on, all right? Also, John had called uh, to the police department or the law enforcement center down there and got a hold of a deputy, and the deputy told him that if he wasn't doing anything wrong, he had absolutely no no problem handing out his ID. Well, here's Darcy Zerb. She's, we got her to pop out her ID, but uh, like I said, the captain next to her didn't want to produce his identification. So what was he up to then? Okay. And if you don't want to carry on a big thing like that, well, then here we also have the small card, which is, again, on both sides, that has that. So if you're in Minnesota, you can, like I said, you can use these cards. You download them off the website. It's at lionnews00.blogspot.com. It should be in the flyer section. Take them to a printing place and have them laminated. All right? And then the next time you run into a cop, demand to see their ID. See? See, if you don't exert these, uh, these rights you have, they're just going to take advantage of you. And I don't let these people take advantage of me at all. See? Because I've studied their tactics, and I know what they're up to. And I don't put up with it. And there's plenty of videos proving that that's the situation. Alright. So, that's another edition of Lion News. Hope you uh, learned something today. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.